Uh, lots of fun events are happening around the Bay Area, and that includes fun events for our furry friends, too. To tell us more about what Friends of Strays is doing about their Adopt a Shelter Pet Day, which is right around the corner, Paige Graham, Engagement Manager from Friends of Strays, is here now. She didn't come alone, and she tells me she has the best job ever, and I, I can see why. <laughs> I do. Paige, good morning. Good morning. Uh, can you introduce us? Yes, this is Mocha. Mocha is an eight-week-old puppy that I brought in from our shelter. Oh, <laughs> she, she's being so good. I'm like she's, trying not to rattle her. I was holding her before. We got her all excited. We're calm now, right? Yes, we're trying to be calm. As much as a puppy can be. Yes, <laughs> she's but doing a great she's job. She's so cute. <laughs> and really, it, it, I mean, just being able to introduce us to her at the perfect time because it really is a big day coming up for you. Yes, correct. So we have Adopt a Shelter Pet, Adopt a Shelter Pet Day coming up on April 30th, and at the shelter every day is adopt a shelter pet day for us but yeah. we really want to promote this out to the community because what better day to come out and find yourself a new best friend than on adopt a shelter pet day so when you come into the shelter on saturday be sure that you ask um, to see which of our animals have had their adoption fees sponsored because we have several of those that are doing that um, their adoption fees have been waived and Saturday is a great day to go out and get a new best friend, just like Miss Mocha here. <laughs> I think so. We could not agree with you more. And I'm glad, too, you point out every day is a good day to, of course, adopt a dog. But you've also got another fundraising aspect uh, to talk about, yes. you know, because let's be honest, you know, dogs, of course, playing tend to get dirty. And sometimes doing the old dog wash can be a pain for, you know, yes. pet mom and dads. Yes, it absolutely can. So we're trying to help the community out with that. And on May 14th, it's a Saturday, we are having the Distant Dog Wash. That is going to be hosted by the Distin uh, Civics Association and it's going to be a fundraiser for us. It's going to be held at Gladden Park on their basketball courts. So bring your dog out. We'll give them a nice little scrub. Give them a doggy bath <laughs> as a fundraiser oh. for our shelter animals. Look at her. I'm, I'm like seriously like <laughs> looking into the camera so much right now. Like Paige, we love the information that you were sharing. <laughs> but we also love this little girl. She's Let, the real star. Let's share some information too about her before we yes. move ahead and talk about a few other things here. Uh, you were able to get mom too, right? Yes. So Mocha and her mom are at our shelter. Uh, mom is having her space surgery, so she is not here with me today. Mocha has already had hers. She's about eight weeks old, and we expect that she's going to be a large breed. She's a mixed breed. We're never quite sure when they come into us exactly right. you know what they have going on but she is expected to be a larger dog <laughs> oh, <laughs> but my. she is an absolute sweetheart and she does have siblings at the shelter as well so mocha is not our only puppy we do have a plethora of puppies right now i was gonna say i feel <laughs> like mocha may not make it to adoption day because she may find a home before then uh, that's very possible <laughs> so what do people need to know about if they're watching right now and they're interested in mocha or any of other mocha siblings what do they need to know well, well first of all make sure that everybody in your family is on board with bringing in a new family member. <laughs> That's one. one thing that we like to make sure first and foremost. Um, but then come on into our shelter, ask to see our adoptable animals. We have plenty of cats that you can go in and play with. And then we also have our dogs and we have a puppy play yard that you can take the dogs out of the kennel to really see their personality. And I always recommend to take them outside, play with them a little bit. Cause when dogs are in their kennels, they're a little shy. Right. You don't really get to see who they really are. Right, <laughs> I love that. Hey, really quick, we only have a few seconds left, but I wanna to touch on kittens as well because yes. not just puppies we got to shed some light on the kittens too. yes it is kitten season springtime everybody's having babies so we do have a lot of kittens coming in thanks to our wonderful fosters um, we're having a lot of foster families that are taking care of our mama and babies right now but we do also have a lot of kittens available for adoption as well oh good stuff look look now now that we got all the talking done yeah. I get some puppy loving <laughs> and in the meantime we want to share a graphic so you guys have the information april 30th adopt a shelter pet day and May 14th. Don't feel those puppy teeth. And there's the <laughs> website friendsofstrays.org to go for more information. Paige, pleasure having you in. Mocha, oh, you are just too, too cute. <laughs> Oh, now, before we do head to break, though, we want to give a shout out to Pet Supermarket. Whether your pet swim, crawl, or fetch the ball, Pet Supermarket has your favorite brands. Stay right there. The show will be right back in just a moment.